This year's coverage of Computex 2019 is sponsored by Corsair and eBuyer. Check them out in the link below. Hey, what is up guys? How are we doing? And welcome back to more Computex 2019 coverage, this time from the NZXT booth, where they've got a whole new range of cases that they're showing off and something completely brand new that I think looks amazing. So we start with the refresh. We have the H210, the H510, and the H710. So if you're familiar with NZXT cases, you'll know that these are actually pretty similar to what we had over the last couple of years. They're very clean. So the main change is actually on the top with the IO. So we now have USB-C all the way across the range. And this is really good. You don't see many people doing this because it is quite an expensive thing to add on. But I actually have a USB-C keychain that I keep with me pretty much everywhere I go. So this would be really useful for me, as well as a headphone microphone combo jack, which again, I think is quite rare. It's not really something I think I'm that familiar with in terms of cases. And this is gonna be good if you already own like a gaming headset for a console, like a PlayStation 4, Xbox One. You can plug this straight in, but there is an adapter provided if you have an old fashioned PC gaming headset. There is also extra RGB features. So the I versions of these cases are slightly more expensive, but you'll get two air RGB fans on the front, as well as an RGB strip that will go along the side. On the right-hand side, we've also got an updated Hue controller. So this is now Hue 2, so you can plug in things like their underglow strips, maybe their cable combs, and you've got two channels rather than one, which should mean you can actually connect more devices, and it just makes things a little bit easier to cable manage because you don't need extra hubs and things like that. But this is pretty much the thing I think I really wanted to talk to you guys about because this is their new case. It's called the 510 Elite, so it's a mid-sized tower. Pretty much the right sort of size I think that most of us are gonna want for a normal gaming PC without going too big or too small. In terms of cooling, you can fit a 280 millimeter radiator right at the front, 120 on the rear. There's also an exhaust vent on the top that you can fit a 140 fan if you so desire. And then you've got the classic cable management system that NZXT like to use on the right hand side. But the thing that makes it really, really stand out to me is just how clean the look of the glass is. You'll notice that the mounting is actually done at the back rather than on the side panel itself. This is the same for the front as well. And it just gives you this clean aesthetic that I don't really think I've seen anything that's better than this. If this is what you're going to go for, something that's just really nice, hip and modern, if you were. And as soon as you get the RGB lighting inside and you have the right sort of colors glowing against all the different components like we have here, you can create something that looks absolutely fantastic. It won't be the absolute cheapest case in the world, but it shouldn't be the most expensive either. And it's something I'm really looking forward to actually getting in for a review. But what do you guys think about this? Is this gonna be the next case for your Ryzen third generation system, or are you not a fan of it? Let me know down in the comment section below as always. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button because it helps out so much you wouldn't believe. And obviously get subscribed for more Computex 2019 coverage. A massive thank you to Corsair and eBuy for actually bringing us out here, sponsoring this trip. It's much appreciated. Check them out in the link below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.